So here is the Q&A program. You click here, where it says Q&A records, and the system goes and grabs all the records out of the database table and puts them into this list box. Click on any record, and the question part goes on the left, while the answer part goes on the right. Let's see how this all works. Two files control it all. ZBE, Z backend, and ZFE, that is the front end. So we open up the front end and come to this import section from Tkinter Import Star. Then I import ZBE. ZBE runs upon loading. So let's look at it and see what it does. So here is ZBE. It first imports SQLite 3. Then it blows past six function definitions. And it finds one command which tells it to execute the connect function. It goes back up and finds them. It says SQLite 3, please connect to this database. And refer to that connection as Khan. Mr. Khan, I want you to make the cursor, please. And the cursor is a uh, scratch pad area where the system puts all of its records that it extracts out of the database table upon any kind of a query that you make. So make the cursor, please. And assign management of the same to Mr. Kerr. Mr. Kerr, execute uh, the following command. Create a table. Create a table? Right now? Okay, I'll do it. No, no, but only create the table if the table Q table is not there when you first go looking for it. Oh, okay. If it doesn't exist, then I'll create it. Yeah, that's right. Of course, you'll have the uh, good sense to uh, name it Q table. All right, I'll do that. And uh, if this database over here, questions.db, doesn't exist, well, then create it because Qtable will need it. All right, he says, I'll do that too. Now, the system is going to need an ID field, which is an integer and a primary key. It also needs the Q1 field, which will be a text field for the question, and an A1 field, which will contain text. That'll contain the answer. Now that he has created the table within this created database, I tell him, come, commit. That means write it all to the disk. And now close the connection to the database. So he closes it. Now we go back to the ZFE file where we left off. And we make our main window, root equals TK parens. Now we write this into the title bar, questions database management system. Now it blows right past all of the function definitions that follow till it finds a command to execute. And here they come. Two text boxes are created here, E1 and E2. So the first thing I do here is R equals 2. It's the row. And I call the text function. I tell it to put a text box inside of the root window. Height will be 4. Width will be 20. And the font will be Arial 24 bold. And assign that to E1, this guy here. E1, put yourself into the grid at row R, 2, column 1. That's right here. So he puts himself in, just like so. Then I tell the text function to put himself into the root window. Height is 4, width is 35, a little bit longer. Font also, Arial 24 bold, and assign that to E2. E2, put yourself into the grid at row R, 2, column 2. And so E1 is placed here, and E2 is placed here. Now I want to keep this fairly short, so we will stop here and continue on in the next video. There's more to come. This is George Bull. Please share and like, and I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.